Welcome to episode 3, day 7 and 8 of our June Botswana overland trip. In this episode, we have a very close encounter with an elephant in our camp. On the main Mount to Northcote Road, plus minus 5 km from Mabave, you will find the Savuti turn off. Plus minus 8 km further, we took the marsh road instead of the sand bridge road. These dips in the road appear every 15 to 20 meters. Although dry during the winter months, it will be flooded during the wet summer months, requiring careful driving. This section of the Chobe National Park has already provided a wide variety of animal sightings. During the winter months, even the marsh road seems to be desolate and dry in some areas. A few kilometers down the sandy track towards Avuti, we were fortunate to see our second brown snake eagle for the day. It is astonishing to see how the landscape changes every few kilometers. Not at all a boring drive. The closer we get to the Savuti Gamp site, the more the scenery and surrounding landscape change. We enjoyed watching this black-backed jackal hunting in the grassland for small prey. Getting closer to the Savuti Hills, the landscape changes yet again. This time the dust roads has a darker tone to it and we encounter our first baobab tree in quite a few days. The road also changes from flat sandy tracks to sandy obstacles. A nice change in driving conditions. Arriving at Savuti campsite, we were allocated campsite number 6, on the outer perimeter of the camping area. We disembark to evaluate the campsite when we get surprised by a huge elephant walking into our campsite to collect a favourite snack, pods from an acacia tree, which we are parked under. Being silent, close and utterly exposed to such a giant of a mammal, leaves one with trepidation and respect for wild Africa.
if you are lucky, each trip has such a memorable experience. For us, this was our experience Wild Africa moment. In Savuti, these sharp rocks protect the water taps from the elephants. They can smell water from a great distance and you have to, by faith, stick your hand in the hole and open the tap to get some fresh running water. Nice and cool. While this elephant was foraging in their neighbor's campsite, this lady decided to walk to the ablutions. She was completely unaware of the elephant until she was right next to him. Greeting it with, Hello baby, is not really an approved elephant greeting and this giant started to follow her. As you can see, she had to resort to running in the thick sand to the ablution for safety. Our overland setup will be discussed in detail in another video. After an eventful evening, elephants in camp and lions roaring very close to the campsite, we broke camp at sunrise and departed for Kasani via the infamous sand roads in the northern section of the Joby National Park. We have been driving on dirt and sand roads for a few days until this point. This section of the Joby National Park has the toughest sand tracks we encountered until today. We are very glad we did not bring our off-road trailer as this would have made this section of our entire trip so much more difficult. We did encounter a small number of vehicles towing off-road trailers and caravans, but they were all in convoy. Since we were a single vehicle, we did not regret our decision to do this Botswana overland trip without our trailer. Back on Tar Road after days of sand tracks inflating tires to the appropriate pressures and in the process also teaching our daughter how to do this this is Chobe Big Five Lodge this is the camping area um, we've already packed stayed here for one night um, was really very very noisy um, what makes this campsite nice is the fact that each campsite has got its own private ablution and wash-up area. Thank you for joining us on this leg of our trip. The Chobe National Park we experienced until now did not disappoint. We'll definitely visit Savuti again, but next time I will add an additional two days to the itinerary. The next leg of our journey will take us to the Zambezi riverfront of the Chobe National Park.